this week's Airbnb quick tip is the best ways to get in touch with Airbnb. What's up, Airbnb Nation? I'm Danny. Over the years, they've gotten significantly better. If you're an old time host, if you've been a host since 2013 and before, you probably think Airbnb has terrible customer service. Since then, they've made huge, huge, huge improvements. I'm gonna lay out in this video here all the different ways. There's eight or nine different ways and more unique ways that you could get in touch with Airbnb because sometimes it is difficult to get in touch with them. Believe it or not, when I worked at Airbnb, it used to be a thing where employees in all the departments were required to answer customer service phone calls. Since then, they've come a long way. So we'll start with a couple general rules. Okay, the first one is you're rolling the dice when you call Airbnb. Unfortunately, you're getting humans and as they're humans, they have good days and bad days, good employees and bad employees. So sometimes you will have to teach the representative how the platform works. You have to explain the subtleties to them. If you know that going in, then you're gonna be less flustered when they're not getting it right away. Number two is that from my experience, Airbnb customer service representatives are in the US and they're in the Philippines. The Philippines, they are helpful. They've been mostly helpful for me, but if you rather have someone in the US, then you must call during the US operating times. That's gonna be Eastern Standard Time and Pacific Standard Time. That's the West Coast and the East Coast. First up, the best way to contact Airbnb is if you're a super host to call Airbnb with the number registered on your account. That's because you're routed directly to the super host priority line. That gets you less wait times and better customer service representatives, more, more higher level customer service representatives and people who work at Airbnb, not at a call center and they work for a day on Airbnb and a day on a different company. This number I'm gonna post up here right now. And the reason why I'm posting it up is because if you have to call Airbnb and you don't call them from the number registered to your account, then they're not gonna know you're a super host and you'll get, you'll get routed into the normal standard number. So you have to call this specific number if you're not calling from the number registered on your Airbnb profile. In the accompanying blog post, I have a list of all the local phone numbers by country. I'm going to include a link in the description that you can click on for all of these countries to get your local number. An under leveraged way to reach out to Airbnb is the community center. They've recently overhauled it and there's some representatives on there whose job is to just answer hosts questions on there. By the way, if it's an urgent issue, you always have to call. If it's not urgent, you can use a whole bunch of other ways to get in touch with Airbnb. One is Airbnb community center. If you don't already have a profile, I suggest you go up and sign up for one now. It's a huge wealth of information from really active and engaged Airbnb hosts. The video will be back shortly, but I promised Reishi and Luna they could say something. Twitter is another way to get Airbnb. Unfortunately, the answers seem to be totally robotic, but they do answer you. And sometimes you'll get a, a rep on the message thread because they'll basically, you can tweet them at Airbnb, at Airbnb help, at Brian Chesky, at Nate uh, Blacharsek, and at Joe Gebbia, the three founders. You can tweet any of them and Airbnb customer service automated bot will come out and say, send us a message, you'll send them a message, and then a rep will get back to you. Usually that happens within a few hours. The Airbnb help center, this is gonna be on the website, the desktop website. That's made huge improvements as well. You're gonna click if you're a guest or you're a host, and then after you click that, you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and click the button in the lower right-hand corner that says contact us. That's true for the app and the desktop version. The only thing in the app is you're gonna to have to click on the app, your profile in the bottom right corner when you're looking at the app and then click get help and then scroll down to the contact us button. And once you do that, you can message them or you can call them. If you call them, they're gonna give you the local number in whatever country you're in. I'm in now Indonesia and I actually just called it to see if it was in English. And sure enough, it was in English. They said that the wait time is about 10 minutes and it was answered within about four minutes. However, there was some sort of disconnection and I didn't actually speak with anyone. One strategy that I've advised some folks to use is actually search LinkedIn for an Airbnb employee in a relevant department and reach out to them there. It's worth a try if you have if you have a specific question about something, it's worth a try, hit or miss success because not everyone uses LinkedIn and that's not their job. But Airbnb still can be quite difficult to get in touch with. And once you get in touch with them, it might be difficult to get your question answered. So you might have to call back a few times and you might have to use a different, a few different strategies in order to get in contact with them in order to eventually find the right person. And last but not least, Elliot Advocacy provides free advice and advocacy for consumers. In this case, Airbnb hosts. They come in for more serious issues. 
For example, some hosts' profiles have been deleted in the past and Airbnb provides no information. It's pretty frustrating, I can imagine, if I was a host or a guest. And some of these people reach out to Elliot and some of those cases, Elliot will take to Airbnb. Because they're a bigger organization, Airbnb pays a little bit more attention to them. So if they were to take your case, that's a great thing. Please don't overwhelm them with, with small issues. They're really only for these really big issues that you're, that you're being stonewalled by Airbnb and they're absolutely not responding to you or they're sending you those generic emails. You can also actually donate Elliot Advocacy. They do great work with all companies. They help frustrated customers of all companies get their problems solved. And these are, these are, like I said, big issues where the entire account is totally disabled or blocked. And those are my ways to get in touch with Airbnb. If I didn't cover a way, let me know in the comment section, share it with the community because we all know how frustrating it is to not get in touch with Airbnb and not get your question answered. Until next time, happy hosting. Thank you.